Good afternoon, everybody. It's Jeffrey, Sky Top Shop. I posted a picture earlier about uh, rebuilding the automatic quill down feed. And I thought I'd add this video to that picture. I'd share with you a couple of things to, uh, to look out for, a couple of gotchas while you're doing this work. Um, if you're here, you probably know about the ball getting stuck. Uh, that's certainly a common failure mode for this. Uh, also, either this internal shaft and or the external shaft is bent. Uh, you could probably see this in your mill as it's going around, the thing wobbles. In any case, uh, the right way to do this job, at least in my opinion, is you know take out all these parts, give them a good thorough examination and, and replace those parts as necessary. In this case, uh, I'm replacing all the pins, the balls, the shafts. Um, but what I wanted to show you is there's a lot going on here. And when you reassemble this assembly, uh, this one is clean, it's dry, there's no oil on here. It's important that this easily slides back and forth. This is the mechanism that would select between the two gears, forward, reverse, neutral. And the tendency is when you insert this roll pin here, and that roll pin goes uh, through this dog engagement lever, it goes through this slot in the shaft and it also goes through the hole in this pin the inner shaft uh, what happens is is as you tap that roll pin into place you can cause this inner shaft to bind and what you want to do is be cognizant of that and you can get in here very easily uh, with a very small pin punch and give this the slightest tap against either side of this shaft to make sure that the inner shaft is not bound inside the outer shaft. It should move freely, just like this. If that binds up, you're gonna have trouble later on. Now also, if you've taken this apart and put it back together, notice that that dog engagement system slides on this keyway. It is possible that that key is not perfectly square or that you've got a burr on the edge of that keyway. So there is another area to look for in the event that this mechanism does not slide easily back and forth. It should move very easy. Okay, the next thing is this stationary washer is held in place uh, by a very small pin. You can see it here. There's a very small pin and that pin lives in this hole and the washer is actually keyed and slips over that. It keeps the, the washer from rotating. But I've noticed that a lot of these replacement parts are not engineered to the exacting tolerances of the original. And when you get this washer in and then you get the brass bushing and you get this worm gear on and then you pin that on the shaft, you may discover that this bearing is locked. So again, make sure that when you assemble all this, uh, that this bearing spins on the shaft. There should not be any lateral back forth motion. It should be a tight, snug fit in there, but the bearing needs to turn because uh, this hole here, this bearing is gonna be locked inside uh, the head assembly and the shaft is going to need to spin freely within it. So again, if necessary, you can, uh, get some very fine sandpaper or some emery cloth and you can face either end of this bushing, but just make sure that it rotates on that shaft uh, freely and that this piece goes back and forth easily. I hope that helps, prevents you from any uh, trouble down the road. Nothing worse than getting this all reassembled and having an issue. If you got any questions, you know how to find me. Jeffrey, Skytop Shop, have a great day.